Hello lovely person watching this, my name is Nara G, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make floor vase from scratch using cardboard boxes. Okay, so I had so much fun making this fall glam home decor DIY, but before I get into this, if you're new to my channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Let's get right into it. For this cardboard DIY, I'm cutting out the cardboard to form the foundation of my floor vase. I measured and cut out 10 of these and then went ahead to make a template of what I wanted my floor vase to look like. It is imperative that you create a template and use the same for every other cutout because that is what will form the shape of your floor vase. Here is a list of the things I will be using to make this floor vase from scratch. Mind you, most of these items I got them from the dollar store and the only thing I didn't get from the dollar store would be the cardboard boxes and also of course the E6000 glue. Oh, I forgot and also the plaster of Paris, I actually got that from Michaels. Okay, so normally you're supposed to use a holo tube for something like this but I couldn't find a holo tube so I made mine using cardboard. The hollow tube basically forms the center of our vase, of our floor vase, where you can basically put in your flowers or leave it as is. I used hot glue to basically attach the cutouts to the hollow tube and repeated the same procedure until every cutout was attached to the tube. Okay guys, this is what it looks like once you're done putting them all together and you can actually see that the form or the shape of our vase is formed. I then used the scissors to basically cut out every excess at the bottom of the vase and then measured the circumference to, to actually um, close up the bottom. Watch as I do this. So now on to the next stage, I will be using duct tape to wrap up our vase. This is basically to cover all the gaps in between the cutouts that we've actually attached to the holo tube. There are many ways to do this. You could also use paper and basically hot glue that over the body of the vase to basically have that form as well. Or you could use paper tape to do the same thing. Keep watching as I wrap this up. You can already see how our floor vase is coming together. Look at this. Now the next stage would be to plaster this up with some tissue paper. You could also use newspaper or just plain old paper for this. And this is basically to actually make the body of the vase 
more conducive for the plaster of Paris to stick onto it. So watch as I do this. Once I was done, I allowed this to dry for about an hour or two, after which I had to put on the plaster of Paris. So guys, this is the most important part of our vase because this is actually what forms our vase. So I mixed um, some plaster of Paris or white cement as they call it with some water and we will be, we will be plastering this onto the vase. Let's keep going. So once our plastered cardboard floor vase was properly dry, I went ahead to use some sandpaper to actually smoothen the vase. Watch as I do this. Make sure to wear a face mask so as not to inhale any plaster residue. It was a cold and windy day outside so I'm doing this indoors, otherwise I'll be doing this outside because of course the residue can be very messy. So I will be using this wooden slab to form the base of our cardboard floor vase. Um, simply because our cardboard floor vase is light and the wooden slab is going to kind of give it um, some weight and also of course add some touch to it. Next I will be using these bamboo skewer sticks at the base of our cardboard floor vase um, as a decorative piece. So I'm just going to go ahead to cut this in twos or threes and then I will have them glued all around the base of our vase. Did you catch that? The base of our vase. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. At this point, your vase is basically a canvas and you can do whatever you want to do on it in terms of decorating it. So for me, I will be using the skewer stick and some hot glue to actually make my decoration on the vase to give it the glam look that I want. The skewer sticks and the wooden slab at the base of our vase actually gives it a rustic kind of look but that isn't the look we're going for. So I will be spray painting this baby once we're done putting our skewer sticks around it. Look at that. I then used my hot glue gun to create an erupted volcanic effect at the tip of our vase. So watch as I do this. Once I was done with this, I proceeded to spray paint the entire vase black. I will be using this metallic gold treasure paint to actually highlight the details on my floor vase.
My intention is to make this a black and gold decor to match my previous four glam home decor DIY videos. Um, you can click on the link above right now to watch this after this video. But yes, uh, this is basically like a continuation of that series. So I actually applied 5 coats of this to get the effect that I wanted and I actually love the outcome so far. And so this is how to make a floor vase from scratch using cardboard boxes. Let me know in the comments section if you've ever made any DIY project using cardboard boxes or if you plan on doing one sometime in the future. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you did learn how to make floor vase from scratch using cardboard boxes. I love how our floor vase turned out, especially with the volcanic details at the top and also with the bamboo skewer details at the bottom of our vase as well as a hooden slab. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and turn on notification bell so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching.